Hi, it's Katie. Welcome to my corner of the world. So today I have some Disney to share with you. I have Main Street Mail. It is a new box to my channel. Well, so if you would like to see what I got from the mouse, come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxing. Subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy, limited edition boxes. I also do hauls, lifestyle, beauty, clothing, food, you name it. If you have shopped for it, I have probably hauled it. If that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there. There it is, that red button. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on the bell notification right next to it. That will let you know when I have new content going up. It will also let you know when I have giveaways going on. Any active giveaways will be down in the description. Now, for the month, for the month, for the year of 2021, I am committed to doing a monthly giveaway on my channel. And the way it works is each week there will be a random video that will have a special word in it. it. Comment that word down in the comments and you get entered into uh, the giveaway for that week. Hey, at the end of the month, I go back and pull the four to five videos that have the secret words in it. It's a different word every week. Hey, and I choose kind of one winner from each week. Those four to five people go on and to the finale. They, they, and I put them into a random name picker. Or the wheel picks one person's name, that person wins all of the uh, prizes for the month. So this month, the theme is nails. So last week I put in, I have like a little birch box here. Last month, I put in this little Manny in a box. It's a three-step manicure process, a sugar scrub, a mud mask, and a massage butter. All right. This week, I am going to add some of these, these um, Instagel nail strips from Nanico. Oh, I got these, I believe, in my Bombay and Cedar mystery a box. So you can see they're kind of a, a like top with some um, white, like almost like lace and flowers on them. Be very nice for spring. So these are going in this week. And the, the word this week is Disney. Since we are opening our Main Street Mail, uh, which is a Disney related subscription box. So, so Put Disney down in the comments, please. Don't put just the word Disney. Please make it into a sentence, as any way you can. And but Disney is the word this week. I will have a link at the end of the video that will have the playlist that has all of the, the videos in in March's giveaway. So it will have last week's and this week's in there. All right, let's get this put away and get into. So our box. So, oh, Main Street Mail oh, is a Disney subscription and box. Uh, now it is run by a couple, oh, and they source the products that they get from Disney parks. But then they also oh go to they work with small shops uh, so that do Disney related items. So not everything is Disney official licensed. And I'm okay with that because some of these smaller shops make amazing things. things. And sometimes even Disney sells them in their stores. There is, so they have three levels. They have the Castle Correspondent, which is their biggest box. It is $100 a month. Yeah, $100 a month. You know I'm not getting that one. And you can get it, it if you want an annual subscription, you can get it for $1,020 a year. So you do save almost $200 on it by a going 
anything annual. But uh, you got to pay that thousand up front, and I just don't have that that kind of money to put up front. Then there's Mickey's Pen Pal. Mickey's Pen Pal is seventy five dollars a month, or seven hundred twenty annually. So again, and it costs a little less per month if you oh, take out an annual membership. They've just added, for a long time they had just those two. They've just added a more budget friendly one and which I am very happy about. It's called the Park Hopper, which if you know anything about Disney, the Park Hopper tickets are more than a base ticket. So why the Park Hopper ticket is the cheapest box, I don't know, but I'm glad they have it. It is $40 a month or $480. So you don't get any discount by doing that one annually. And in all of them, you get to oh, fill out a profile of your likes and dislikes. You know, what are your favorite movies, your favorite characters, things like that. And they will try to customize their your box as much as they can towards your preferences. Now, Oh, the more you spend per month, the more they can customize it. And, and in fact, they only have a limited uh, customization sheet for the Park Hopper or one. And but uh, I am ready to get into it. I don't know about you. Oh, but let's get this open. So again, this is the Park Hopper one. This is forty dollars. I did pay for a three month subscription and to it to try it out. Um, part of that is because we are going to Disney this year. So I thought, oh, I'll get a little, a few things ahead of time. You are guaranteed that you will get at least is the amount that you paid or more. So it's going to be at least $40 or there's, there's, and probably more of merchandise in here. So the first thing that I see is greetings from Sunset Boulevard. All right, it's a little postcard. Now this is from Disney World, oh, from Hollywood Studios. So that is nice to have, and it is a real postcard, so I could send a postcard to someone while we were down in Disney. And then the next thing I have, oh, spoilers. So we'll look at this when we're done. And this is what it looks like. So all kinds of blue foozles. So let's get those out of the way. This is going to be a little messy here. Um, the cats are probably going to love this. Ooh, I see something pink and fluffy in here. Uh, that will make Emily's day. Okay. So actually, before I get to the pink fluffy thing, the first thing I'm going to pull out is this. Looks like maybe a mug. And I do love Disney mugs. When we go, that's like my one souvenir that I always get at Disney is a mug. Other thing that I always get when we go is I get an ornament for our Christmas tree. Now that's kind of like a little tradition, like any the, uh, vacation that we go on, I am always on the hunt for ornament. That's like my souvenir everywhere that I go. So kind of for the family, you know, I don't need a lot, but I like to remember those. Unfortunately, this year, of course, we didn't have any the ones. And, um, oh, yeah, Emily's telling me last year. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, let me see if I can finally get this out. This is really cool. So it's like a Mickey, like drawings of Mickey, but it even says here, like, okay, tail is long and thin. So it's almost like telling you how the animators there's, would put it and so that the next people would know how to draw Mickey Mouse. The eyes fit the roundness of the head by following the center line of the face. Face. So interesting. Always use expression lines at the corner of mouth. Oh, snout below center of head. The body is drawn by first roughing in a circle 
uh, the same size as the head and, and then cutting it and, it and cutting in on it to get the pear shape. Hey, cheeks bulge slightly, ears back, ears, hmm, not sure, something about ears back on head, <laughs> but that is really cool. I love this to have the animation stuff. I watched, that was one of the things that I watched, watched um, during quarantine was they had um, a whole thing called, I think it was called Imagineers on, on Disney Plus. So interesting. Thing. So I am happy, happy, happy girl to have that. That one's definitely staying with me. This next one here, I think I know who this one is going to also. Let me see if I can get him freed of all the foozles. This is, is Bing Bong. Now, if you don't know, Bing Bong is a character from the movie Inside Out. Inside Out is about a little girl named Riley. And all the emotions that are going on in her head, joy, anger, or fear, all of those. Bing Bong is her imaginary friend. So he kind of interacts with all of those those, those in, in her head. And, and so he is super cute so, with his pink and his little legs and then his like raccoon like a like, purple tail. Oh, uh, he is super soft. And then I have one other item in here. All right, and this is perfect for us too. And this will probably hey, go to Andrew, although I don't know if he'll end up keeping it. It, it is a a pin from Toy Story. It is Woody. And the reason I say Andrew may or may not end up keeping this is my kids really enjoy doing pin trading when they are down in Disney. And what that is, is, is they wear like a lanyard that has all of these, these different types of pins on them. Um, and, and they can trade them with anybody else who has Disney pins. Now they do have to be a authentic Disney pins. And so, oh, and this one does say Disney and Pixar on the back. back. It does not have the Mickey backing though, which is, is interesting thing, but it does have the, uh, um, copyright by Disney and Pixar. Or, so Andrew could say, I'll trade you Woody for, or Buzz Lightyear, or I'll trade you Woody for Mickey Sorcerer, or whatever, or, and the person can decide whether or not they want to trade. Aid, the cast members always have to trade aid, aid with them. Um, what they've been doing during COVID is that they have boards, so the kids can go up to the boards and pick a pin and put another pin on and, and of theirs. So it is kind of on the honor system, but I think they usually have like cast members standing around it to make sure that the kids are putting one and as they take one. And so this will go to Andrew for his pin collection to do his pin trading when we go down there again. And all right, let's look at that spoiler page and see our costs. So actually they put the retail value of the plush at $22.99. I mean, and I swear I saw $31.99 though on him. Yeah. Oh, that, that was Canada. $22.99. I am sorry. I gotta cut all that other stuff out now. $22.99. So $23. That's actually a really good price for a plush uh, that size. Is the trading pin is $10. And yes, they do cost that much. They cost, some of them cost even more than that. Uh, and then the mug was $16.99, which, yes, again, I believe that. That is what they go for down there. Uh, so the grand total of the box was $49.98. So that's $10 more than I paid for it. So I'm happy with that. You're not going to get in, in any of these Disney boxes is, is these, these, you know, super expensive items for super 
or cheap like you get in FabFitFun. You're also not going to get them that much when you are buying from um, a smaller business, which this is. So I'm happy. They, I got at essentially a 20% discount. Now, I'm good with that. So that was my Main Street Mail, my Park Hopper. I'm excited. I'm glad I'm getting this one at least two more times. Um, it will definitely get us ready for Disney and will keep me from spending more money once I'm down there or because I will have little souvenirs and things that I can give to the kids so that they're not at always wanting to be buying something. I will say this pin trading, that is another great way. You can get pins off of Etsy. You do need to, or not Etsy. You can get pins off of eBay. You do have to be careful that you are getting authentic ones. And But again, the cast members will trade pretty much anything that looks like it might be an authentic Disney pin. And... Um, and that's how I got my kids started. They feel like they're getting a souvenir when they're able to pick out, out something of their choice, is even though they're trading something for it. So that's it. That's everything I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.